let's multi-graft my passion fruit vine. As you can see behind me, I have a passion fruit that is growing really lush along my fence line, but it's not exactly what I planted. These are the two passion fruits of two different vines. This was my gold Panama, and this was supposed to be my black nugget, which as you can see, is not black. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna take a cutting and we're gonna graft it onto this vine. So I've already actually done a successful graft on this passion fruit vine, but that was before I knew what color this was, thinking that it was a black. So I have a feeling I may have grafted a the other yellow one on here already. Um, so today we're going to do some more grafts. We're gonna make sure we get the black passion fruit on here and potentially the red as well. And I'm gonna show you how to do it from scratch. So this is my graft here. Um, the tape is still on it and all of this new growth has shot through. I only had one bud sticking out the top here. So all of this is new growth. It's already gone up into the vine as well. So it's definitely a successful graft and we will have to wait and see what color that is because I didn't write that down. Now this passion fruit here is growing in a pot, which is not ideal. Passion fruits really want the space and the food. They're heavy feeders. So I don't imagine this is gonna be hugely productive, but I wanted this sunshine special passion fruit, which is really being bred for our climate here in Perth. So we're gonna take some cuttings off this and we're gonna graft it onto the yellow one. So I've cut off this little chunk here and I'm gonna remove the leaf and this little tendril. Now I have one little shoot. You can see that's a little shoot. So that's the new bud that we're gonna have all our new growth from. And this part is the bit that we're gonna graft. I'm only doing this graft with one shoot above so that there's less energy for it to push up. So there's five key points to get a really successful graft and make sure this works. I'm gonna share that with you. The first is the timing, when to do this grafting. So I wanna be doing it when my passion fruit vine is pushing new growth, which for most fruit trees is in spring. At the moment, it's really vigorously growing. It's um, sending off all new growth and shortly that's gonna slow down and it's gonna start producing flowers and fruit. So all of its energy will be going into flowers and fruit. But at the moment, it's pushing all its energy through to the tips. So we're gonna cut off one of these, stick this on, and it's gonna push all its energy through this. So the second important thing is where should I put this graft on the passion fruit vine? And as close to the main trunk as possible because passion fruits actually fruit on new growth. So one day if I wanna prune this back, uh, probably after this fruiting season, I don't want to prune off my grafts. So if I have them here closer to where the trunk is, where it's going into the ground, that way I can minimize the risk of me pruning it off. Whereas if it was in the middle or way down there, I could accidentally cut it off. Number three is clean sharp tools. So I've got my secateurs for cutting off the pieces and I've got my grafting knife for for creating the graft and I've got in this spray bottle here isopropylene so this is just alcohol that's going to sterilize these because I don't want to be passing any diseases from other plants in my garden so it's always important that you clean your tools between cuts and having it in a spray bottle just makes it super easy and it dries really fast the stuff all right so let's find the spot close to the trunk the trunk sort of comes down here and into the ground. So anywhere in the space here is going to be a good spot. I wanna find a branch that I can see the end of because otherwise I'm gonna cut something and it could be going for miles down there and I'll just end up with this dead um, vine. So I'll find one that has an end on it. I also wanna make sure it is relatively similar size to the scion piece that I have. Um, I like the look of this piece. This tape that I've got here is called buddy tape and you don't have to use this. I haven't used it previously, but because I'm doing a lot more grafting, I have invested in it. It's a little bit pricier. It's biodegradable, it's super stretchy, and this is gonna keep the moisture in our um, little scion here. What I've done previously is just once I've grafted, popped a um, little zip bag over top of this just to stop it from drying out while 
we're waiting for it to sprout. So this stuff just stretches really easily, nice and tightly over, careful not to break that bud because that's what we want to grow from and we just close the end over, hold it in place. Now you will notice that the end is hollow, which is really unusual, but don't worry, it works. I've done it before. <laughs> Next up, we have our grafting knife, and I'm just doing a um, wedge graft on this. I find it easier. It works on everything. Everyone has a different way of doing these things, but this is just what I'm doing. So I'm just cutting in one side, and again, you can see it's hollow. And then a little bit on the other side. So I have a flat cut on this side, and then opposite, I also have another flat cut. And we just want these cells to line up on our other plant so that it can fuse and grow as one. Find our plant, take off some of the leaves, it's easier to get in there. Now I'm just going to make a cut down the center. This is the hard part, sometimes you stuff it up. Be careful not to cut your finger. Then I'm going to grab my grafting tape which is a lot stronger so I can get a nice and tight wrap on it. So I just wedge that in there and make sure that it lines up with the outside as close as you can. And then we're gonna start wrapping it. This is quite delicate and really tricky to do. Keep readjusting as you go to so make sure that it's lined up. it off. And we're done. I have done a video on passion fruit before and I was saying don't buy grafted passion fruit um, and this is different. So these passion fruit vines are not grafted, they're grown from cuttings and we're going to be adding on to them. So the problem with grafted passion fruits, especially here in Perth, is that they're grafted with a rootstock that's super invasive, it's suckers and it's impossible to get rid of with inedible fruits. So we don't want that. And so if you haven't checked out the video, then make sure you do that as well. So I'm gonna do that a few more times so that I'm not putting all my eggs in one basket and one graft. I'm no expert, so it is important that I keep practicing and that I do it multiple times. And I have plenty to work with. So that's why it's great to start doing it with things that you have um, enough material of and enough, enough like obviously it's not going to damage my vine. I have so many branches and vine, <laughs> vines to practice on this, like each one of these. Let me know if you're going to give it a go.